In Windows Server 2016, let's take a look at how we can change the printer permissions. So we're in our control panel, devices and printers, and we have a printer that is shared. If we right click on it and choose printer properties, we can make some changes to who can print to it. Let's go ahead and click on the security tab and then click on advanced. By default, we see a lot of different permissions here, and mostly they belong to the administrator or the administrator's group. We see the manage this uh, printer, manage documents, also the print options. If you cancel out of there for a second, we look at the default rights on the security tab, things look a little uh, easier, such as we just see the administrator and then the various different rights the administrator has, then the administrator's group, et cetera, et cetera. So we can make some additional changes to the uh, who can print and that kind of thing in the advanced section. But before we do that, let's take a look at these various different standard permissions. So the permission to print is given to everyone. So anyone by default can print to this printer. If you decide you don't want that, then you can certainly uncheck that right. You can also choose deny. And now the deny right uh, overrides any other option for everyone to be able to print, in this case, since everyone is highlighted. So if I add a second uh, type of permission to everyone, then this deny is going to automatically block it. If I uncheck it, then I add another group to have access, such as domain users, then it won't get blocked. So if we go to where it says administrators, we see manage this printer and manage documents. So it's a little bit confusing, but uh, manage documents allows you to cancel print jobs. It allows you to uh, restart print jobs and clear the print queue. However, manage the printer allows you to have the most amount of rights of any of these three, print, manage this printer, and manage documents. Manage this printer allows you to change who has access to the printer, it allows you to change the printer driver, and any other of the settings that you see up in all of these tabs. So manage this printer has the most amount of rights. Let's go ahead and click on Advanced, and then let's go, uh, click on Add, and we're going to choose a user. Let's go ahead and choose the administrator just so we can see everything. Check name and click OK. Now, once again, we see the three different basic permissions. And there's also three special permissions, but that's grayed out. Now, to see those special permissions, all I have to do is click on Show Advanced Permissions. So here's the special permissions. Read, change permissions, and take ownership. So if you have the Manage This Printer right, you have these three rights as well by default. If you take away this manage, print, manage This Printer right, then you can individually set who has various different rights to these other three. So in order to print, you also have to have the read permission. In order to manage documents, you have to have all three of these special permissions. And also, if you manage this printer, you have to have all three of these permissions. So Microsoft automatically adds the three special permissions as you check the boxes for the standard permissions. If we try to uncheck read permissions, for instance, then the standard permissions all go away. So adding permissions and removing permissions in a Windows printer is a little bit tricky when you're trying to share that printer. Let's go ahead and cancel that. So let's say, for instance, we don't want everyone to be able to print to this printer. Let's go ahead and remove the everyone group. And let's just go ahead and add a specific user. Let's choose the test user that we created in a previous video. And we say test. And the test user has the ability to print to this printer. Then let's add another user. Let's go ahead and do check names. And we'll choose the Robert McMillan full. Click OK and give full permissions to this printer. So if the test user tries to print, it will absolutely work. If uh, the Robert McMillan full administrator tries to uh, make any changes, it will also work. However, if test tries to make any other changes, such as managing documents or managing the printer, those will fail. And when we're all done, we can click Apply and then OK. So that's how we manage printer permissions in Windows Server 2016.